Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and today we're going to look at the Routines folder. Now, the reason I want to do this is because there's a lot of things that we just have to do either on a daily or weekly or monthly basis that you just don't want to be trusting to your head. You don't want your head to have to remind you to pay bills or, or to clean up your house or whatever it is that these routines come under. And that's when I really want to show you where the power of Todoist, or any task manager for that matter, can really help you to get a lot out of your head so you don't have to be remembering all this stuff, which ultimately clears up space for you to get on with more important things. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below down there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let's go into Todoist now and I'll show you how to get the most out of a routines folder. OK, so those of you who've been following me for a while, in the past, I used to actually create sub, sub projects for my daily, weekly and monthly routines uh, par. But then Todoist brought out sections and sections just makes a lot more sense. Not so much when it's in this view, which is the list view. But if I go into the view here up at the top and change that to the board, I find this is a much better place to review my routines. Now, we'll deal with the reviewing up front. The review I do every three months and it's just to check that everything is still relevant. But what I want to do first is to get, go over some of these and show you the kind of tasks that you would put in your routines folder and why you wouldn't actually flag them. And let's deal with that first. You don't necessarily need to flag routines simply because these are the lower priority tasks. A routine is something that you just have to do that isn't going to take your life further forward. It's going to maintain life at a certain standard and that's really what a routine is. It's not necessarily going to pay your take your life further forward. Now, that said, there are some that I do flag. For example, when it comes to completing my weekly planning session, I will always flag that because on a Saturday morning when that is due, that is always going to be one of my must do tasks. I can't imagine not doing the weekly planning session because I have done that in the past and I know that I end up with a completely crazy week because I'm no longer in charge of the week. When I do a weekly planning session, it puts me in charge of the week. So let's just go through some of these tasks. Now, I've got clear my action this day folder, which relates to my email. So that's just clearing all my actionable email. I also have clear to doist inbox. Now, usually I will do that uh, in the evening. Uh, I did it in the evening. This I did it this morning, actually. So that's done and I can just check it off and it will come back tomorrow as it's showing up on here. Uh, writing client feedback. Now, this is relating to my coaching program. Now, the thing about this is, theoretically, this could be part of my core work, which means that it would be in my recurring areas of focus. But it's just something I do every single day. And it's never I can skip that if I need to, because something else comes up. Now, morning routines. This is something that I don't personally need in my task manager. And there's another reason why I don't actually recommend you put do morning routines into Todoist. The very simple reason is that means for you to see that task to trigger you to do it, it means you have to start your day with Todoist and that's not necessarily the best place to start your day. You want to start your day with yourself for yourself, doing meditation, having a quiet cup of coffee, writing a journal, you know, just having some time to yourself. So by all means, when you're starting out with morning routines, perhaps you do need it. But once it's become more of a habit, then I would remove it. I don't need it. I haven't needed it for about two years. It's definitely not in there. And I that task is never in there. 
I've got things like vacuum the office and water my bonsai tree. Now, these are great examples, you know, just to keep your, you moving forward with keeping your home or office clear and clean. Just put in a task to remind yourself to do that. When would you do that? I tend to do pick out the vacuum in between sessions of work because I've been sat at my desk, I've been writing or recording. You know, it's just a nice break in between. And when I see that on my list, I know, okay, today I'm going to find time to vacuum the office. Bonsai tree is just something I do every two days. It's something that I'm more often than not going to forget. So this is a great example of what you would put into a routines folder. Things like watering your plants, they're easily forgotten. So I will put that on my list. So the daily one is there. There's just some examples of daily. What about weekly? Well, clearing out the garbage in the office, of course, that's something that, you know, I, I just need a reminder of. Although, to be fair, there is a trigger a natural trigger because I can see that the garbage can is full. Washing the car is something I do. Wednesday is kind of my day off, so I will always go and try and do that on a Wednesday if the weather's okay. I've got vacuum the house, uh, and that one actually comes up. If we look at that, it comes up. It's coming up on every every three days. It comes up. Oh, sorry, every Tuesday and Friday. So that's something that I do twice a week and it's just again it's just a reminder and I generally do that in the evening when I go down to do dinner while my dinner's cooking I'll vacuum the house uh, I also have my scheduling for my exercise now I do exercise pretty much every day but I do tend to schedule the type of exercise that I'm doing so this is part of my weekly planning session Every Sunday, I back up my computer. These are great things just to be reminded of. Water the plant in the office. Now, this is a palm plant. It says a plan plant. It's actually a palm plant. So, P-A-L-M. Uh, and that just needs watering once a week. So, I do need a reminder of that. So, that one comes up every Saturday. I always need a reminder because I will forget that one. And then I've got complete weekly planning session. Now this is an interesting task. You can either have this in your recurring areas of focus or you can have it in, rut in routines. I've been doing it for so long, like 10 years, pretty much consistently, that it's just something that comes up every week and it's red flagged. Now, which is very rare. I don't normally flag a routine task, but this is a must do. It will happen. And just for me, I like it in routines. You may prefer to see it in your recurring areas of focus, which we will do in a future uh, video. Finally, the monthly ones. Now, the monthly ones often are weekly and monthly are usually the ones that are longer than your daily ones. So I've got my renew my residency permit. Now, this is an interesting one because this doesn't need to be done until August 2023. But I put it in monthly. I'm not going to have a yearly section because it can just go into monthly. This will come up when it needs to come up, which will be on the 1st of August, which generally is my trigger to schedule the appointment. I review my productivity system every three months. So I just go through, make sure everything's written right, everything's working well. Pay the car lease is just a payment that needs to be made sure that goes out on the 15th of the month. So the day before I get the task to remind me to make sure there's enough money in the account. Same with credit cards. Credit cards are due on, let's have a look what we're looking at here. If I look at the date, it's every 23rd. The credit cards are due to be paid on the 24th. So it comes up the day before to remind me to make sure there's enough money in the account. And then here's another one that I do. My favorite band is a band called Above and Beyond. And although we've been had the pandemic over the last couple of years, so they haven't been traveling, this comes up on the first of every month. And it's just a little reminder for me to go and check their website for any tour dates to see if they're coming to Korea. And that's it. That's roughly what a routines folder will do for you. Anything that you need to be reminded of because you don't want to have that in your head to remind you. It's not a good place to keep those kind of reminders. Get them into to do is let them come up when they need to come up and then you're not likely to forget them. Now, before we finish, I did get one question here where somebody asked me, is it OK to flag a, a task uh, that's in the routines? Of course it is. As I say, I've got mine set up weekly planning session. Actually, with my writing client feedback, I like to do that in the afternoon and I use the blue flag to tell me when in the day I want to do these things. So that is blue flagged and it come up in the afternoon. It'll come up in my list. And I can, if we go into my today here, you'll see 
write client feedback. I can see from here that it's actually a routine, so I don't need to worry too much about what needs to happen. You know, I know it's going to come up in the afternoon. So there you go. Well, thank you very much for watching this. I do hope it's helped you a little bit to get a little more clarity on the routines folder. It's such a useful folder because these are all the things that we often forget and just having them come up and remind you that they need doing. You can reschedule them at any time. They're routines. They're not highly important tasks. I often reschedule quite a few things. You know, I have one here today, which actually in my real account comes up, call mum and dad. I know today is not going to be a good day to call my parents because they're out all day. So I'll be calling them tomorrow. I would just reschedule that one for tomorrow and that's okay. It's still going to come back. I'm going to coming here. Uh, call parent. It'll still come back. When I go on here, you'll see on the dates, it comes up now every Sunday. So that's when I would do that. Normally, I actually have that every Saturday. So let's change that to Saturday. And that's going to come up. And it's, it's going to come back into today, call parents. So if I reschedule that for tomorrow, like that, now go back to upcoming, you'll see that when it comes out, call mum and dad, if I go on here, it says every Saturday. So even though I'm rescheduling it for a Sunday, it's never actually a problem. So there you go. Well, thank you so much again for watching this. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.